Lions can kill both hyenas and wild dogs, being larger than both but in fact much larger than the last ones. Wild dogs are animals that hunt in groups, in a group requires cooperation between group members. This enables wild dogs to bring down animals five times their size. Sometimes wild dogs also attack and surround a lioness who is separated from the pride. But, there are studies that prove that wild dogs in fact try to avoid both hyenas and lions. But when they face hyenas, they tend to defend their ground and confront them. However, they in fact tend to run away from lions. And they do run from lions because they are smart, they will not put on a fight they will hardly win. There are just too many witnessed examples on how lions can kill wild dogs. Lion pride can pursued and killed several members of the pack, including the alpha male African wild dog, affecting the whole pack a lot. The three carnivores have similar diets. They feed on a range of prey including gazelles and other antelopes. Because they have such similar tastes, the three carnivores have to compete with each other to eat. African wild dogs are smaller than lions and hyenas and usually come off worst in conflicts. When the lion and the wild dog clash, however, the outcome is usually in the lion's favor. To avoid potentially fatal clashes with lions, wild dogs are actively moving away from areas where lions roam. Where the dog and cat territory overlap, the canines adjust their daily schedule to avoid going out and at the same time as the lion. For the most part, wild dogs cannot compete with the lion's brutal strength. As a matter of fact, African wild dogs are the best hunters among the three predators, with a much higher success rate. However, the lion and hyenas tend to steal from them a good portion of their kills. African wild dogs tend to be very successful, often with greater than 60% of their chases ending in a kill, sometimes up to 90%. This is much higher than lion with 27 to 30 percent and hyena with 25 to 30 percent success rates. All of that just to say that, in average, lion and hyena wins over a pack of African wild dogs. There is extensive evidence on that, but nature is nature. And African wild dogs can be a fierce enemy if the conditions and numbers are on their favor. Hyenas and lions have a wide geographic overlap in their ranges. When disputes occur, the hyenas normally have the upper hand because they have their clan to fall back on. Hyenas are more than capable of fending off and holding their own against lions, with a heart twice the size of a lion's, incredible strength, jaw pressure reaching 1000 psi, and intellect comparable to primates. 
In reality, lions do exactly what hyenas do when it comes to scavenging. Lions are known to follow hyena calls and literally drive the much smaller hyenas around with their huge bodies. That is why hyenas, as pack hunters, take advantage of their numbers. Hyenas were known to kill lions and carry their bones back to their dens during the Pleistocene epoch. Furthermore, several of the lion bones show signs of having been chewed by spotted hyenas. Sections of lion skulls have been cracked off, lower jaws have a regular history of breakage, and limb bones have been nibbled, all of which line up with hyenas' unique body dismantling techniques. When feeding on lions, the feeding hyenas did not do anything unusual. The pattern of damage on the lion bones is identical to that found on horse, rhinoceros, and elephant bones, implying that the hyenas continued to use the same mechanism for dismantling bodies. Cheetahs could run at up to 100 mile per hour. Scientists now believe that cheetahs run at around 60 mile per hour and rarely stray above 30 to 40 mile per hour while hunting. What makes them so deadly is their powerful muscle structure which allows them to slow by up to 9 mile per hour in a single stride. They also possess the ability to turn in a very small amount of space, aided by a highly flexible spine and claws which don't retract and give them a huge amount of grip. While all of that makes them incredibly lethal once the rush to kill has started, where the cheetah also excels is in sneaking up towards its kill before pouncing. The animal expends a huge amount of energy in running and wrestling with its prey, so it must make sure it has a reasonable chance of a kill before running in, otherwise it would starve to death. Cheetahs use their excellent eyesight to scan the horizon for potential targets, before lying low in the long grass and creeping towards the prey. The cat makes use of its camouflaged fur to get as close to the other animal as it possibly can before it starts to run, accelerating faster than a sports car. Like most cats cheetahs are usually solitary animals but can team up in pair or even threes to hunt, usually sharing the work between family members. Once they have dispatched a kill they will often drag it to a shady spot to prevent other animals from stealing it. The cats have extremely light bodies and are no match for heavier animals. The athletic killers rely upon the element of surprise to take down their prey, but are vulnerable to attack from bigger savanna animals, especially hyenas who are known to kill cheetah young. 